this looks like really organized so i think we'll be able to find it like really easily this time yeah i really hope so looks like a really really old um, train station yeah so what do you think we're gonna find today i don't know let's start looking around do you want to look at the map wait but i think there's a sequence like so the first time like in, in each in each treasure we find, we found a baby. Do you think that has to do with something? I don't know. Let's let's look first. But like, but there is an order in them. Let's think about it. Maybe we can find like a clue or something. I mean, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Here. Okay. Here, let's look at the map. All right. Okay, so we're here in this old train station. Yeah. So it's showing that there should be a bench. So which bench do you think it is? There's a lot over here. These are all the same, so I don't think it would be these ones. Plus it has to be like really old and these don't look that old. Yeah, okay. And I think also, let me see them up again. Here, on this side. Okay. So I think it's on its own. So like the map is showing that it's, it's not going to be any of these benches. It has to be on its own. See? Yeah. What it is. Okay. So the exit sign is over there. Do you want to go look? Let's go. Yeah. I think I see something. Can you see anything here? There's some ice. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So, here, wait, where is it around the bench? Let's look on the map. I mean, I don't see anything around here. Here, let's look at the map yeah. first. Okay, so, it doesn't say it's on or under the bench, but it says it's near. Near, I mean, if it's, there isn't nothing around it, so it might be Maybe somewhere around here. the fence. Yeah, maybe it's somewhere here. Mm, I don't feel anything. I can definitely feel the ice though. <laughs> Do you think it... Well... There is a big pile of leaves. Do you want to look underneath? Yeah, are we going to be able to? Yeah, uh, are we going to be able to get to it from this side? Um, let's try. Do you see something there? Wait, I think I see something. Here. It's another box. Yeah, I think we're going to have to open it and see what's inside. Let's come stay here. Here, let's open it. The key's inside again. Wow, it's another puzzle. <laughs> let's do it and figure it out. Well, see, this isn't a little guy. It's an older guy. Well, maybe the kid grew up. I don't know. We'll see. I think we're getting close. We're getting close. Wow. Okay. So, well, he might be getting some advice. Yeah, well, there's a cross in the back, there is a priest, and there's a boy sitting with him. So he must be either getting advice or just talking to him. So when I go to church, I usually, I can go sit with a priest or I see other people sitting with him for confession. Wait, so this so could be confession? confession? Well, what do you know about confession? Well, confession is when we go sit with a priest and we, we tell him all what we have sinned and everything wrong we did. And we actually repent about it and we try our best to stop it. But 
I believe it's not just a priest, it's always in God's presence. Well, let's find out more about it. Let's do it. Hello guys, welcome back. So we just had a very, very fun adventure where we found a new treasure. And apparently it was confession. So let's go back a little. Uh, so for the first episode and first adventure, we found a very, very nice puzzle that led us to the sacrament of baptism, which, in which we are born again. And the second one was about confirmation. Even though we can receive these two things, we can still sin. So this is why we have confession as our second option. God created us just like Him, caring, loving, all of these beautiful features. But, Valeria, do you think Jesus will fight with his friends? No. Do you think he would not listen to what elders say? No. Nope. So do you think if we disobey our parents, or we fight with our siblings, or even just not listen to what our elders say, do you think we're not being like Jesus? Exactly. And this it's just like when we get dirty, when we play outside and we get our clothes dirty, when we wash them, that's washing away our sins and that's that's what confession is it's basically us going to the priest and telling him what we've done wrong and then when he reads the absolution it's like we're washed again and our sins are all forgiven wow that's beautiful well do you know an easy way to figure out if the thing you're doing is right or wrong well you can just think about it if jesus will do it then it's good to do if you think jesus wouldn't do it then I don't think it's the right thing to do. No, we can only receive it once. This, but this is why we have the sacrament of confession, where we can, it's like a spiritual shower. So when we go and tell all our sins to the priest, everything will get washed away at the end. Just like in John, for, uh, first John, verse nine, we confess our sins, and He is faithful and and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Isn't that great how God can just forgive our sins just for us like saying it out loud? So as we all know that each sacrament has a visible part and an invisible part. The visible part, which is the part that we can see. So we can see us sitting with a priest telling him everything wrong we did in, during confession. But the part that we cannot see is that Jesus is actually sitting with us when we are confessing and he listens to us and he forgives us all our sins once the absolution is read. Well, do you guys know that the sacrament of confession was created on Easter Day, Easter Sunday, when Christ first appeared to the apostle after he rose from the dead? In John 20, verse 22 to 23, he told them, Receive the Holy Spirit for those who, who sin you forgive, and they are forgiven. For those sins you retain, they are retained. And this means whenever we sin and confess right away, all our sins are forgiven. And whenever we fall into the same sin again, we can go back and confess. Wow, that's very interesting. So I know, I know guys, it's not as easy as we make it sound like. So we will give you three easy steps so that would help you. So the first thing we need to do is sit with ourselves and think about everything wrong we did. You may write it down also. Then the second thing you need to do is actually going and sitting with a priest and tell him everything you have done and he reads you the absolution and this is when God forgets all your sins. And then the last thing you need to do is sit with yourself and with God and try your best to not do the same again. Don't forget that whatever you say with the priest during confession, no one will have to know about it because it's a secret between you and the priest. And it's God is present through the priest. So it's not the priest that is that is speaking to you. He's just there so that God can speak through him and give you advice and guide you. So he would never judge you or tell you this is wrong, you shouldn't do it. Well, obviously he's gonna tell you that it's wrong, but he's just there to guide you. He's not gonna want to judge you. Yeah, exactly. And finally, when he reads you the absolution, you are born again. You don't have any sins and you're just so pure, just like God. It's so beautiful, guys. So, do you know that in Proverbs 28, 13, it says, He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes, then we will have mercy. And that means if you don't confess your sins, nothing will be forgiven, 
but whenever you go and confess, everything will be forgotten. I think we've all learned a lot. Even the greatest prophets confess to God because there is no one's perfect and we all fall into sin. But the important thing is to get up again. Exactly. It's very, very important that whenever we sin and fall down, that we get back up and confess our sins to God. And they will definitely be forgiven. God really, really loves us and He gave us such a beautiful sacrament. So do you guys want to have some fun and go do a little demonstration? Let's go. Yeah. And now it's for our fun time again. So we have our heart right here and then we have some band-aids and then I have a black marker. So what do you think it represents? So this is our heart. It's so pure and, it, and God created it so nicely. But sometimes we do some wrong stuff. Maybe one time you disobeyed your mom or dad and you said, no, I don't want to do this. And that would create a big black circle. And then maybe another time you didn't want to share your toys with your friends. That's going to do another big circle. And maybe another time you did not listen to what your teacher said in school. That will give us another black circle. And maybe one time someone asked you a question and you lied and didn't be honest with them. Another one. Uh oh. Or maybe another time you talked about your friend behind their back. That will create another black dot. Yeah. So how can we bring our, our heart back to, to purity? How, how can we can make it like pure just like God created it? So just like we talked earlier, by confession. So when we go and confess with the priest, it's like a bandit. We're gonna put it on our black on our black dot and it's not there anymore. So you can't see it after we do the after we cover it with the band-aid. Because Jesus loves us, so he's covering it with his love for us. Yeah, so just like when that time you didn't obey your parents or your teacher or didn't talk nicely to your friend, God forgave that once you say it to the priest in during confession time. And it's so beautiful. Just once you're done with confession and the priest reads the absolution, your heart is back white again. It's so, so pure. Now, let's memorize our verse for today. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. 1 John chapter 1, 9. Do you guys memorize it yet? Well, let's do it one more time. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Okay, are you ready to play the game? Yes, I am. Are you guys ready? Okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes. No peeking. Okay, you can open your eyes now. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. You got it right. Yay, good job, guys. You guys helped me out. Okay, here you go. It's let's, your turn now. That's Destillaria. So where do you guys think we can put it? Over here. Okay, you can open your eyes. Hmm. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. 1 John chapter nine, uh, one, um, chapter 1 verse 9. She got it right! Good job, Valeria. Good job, guys. Well, now let's go back. Welcome back, guys. Well, th this concludes our episode for today. The most important thing that we've learned about from today is that confession is really important and it helps us go back on the right path. And it was first created so that we can, the main reason that it was created for was to help us go back on the right path with God because we can't receive the confirmation or baptism other than once in our lifetime. And the question for today is, what are the three steps that prepare us for the confession before, during, and after. 
don't forget that Jesus loves you so much and that was the reason that this sacrament was created so we can all go back to God and confess our sins. Do you want to end today's adventure with singing a song together? Let's do it. Bye. 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 Thank you.